Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. This is uh, from Terry Dolan. Oh, damn it. And when I opened is that guy still around? When I took it out of the container, it was already that empty. <laughs> Terry Dolan. <Dolich. laughs> and I think he, he poured it for us when he was here, but I don't remember it. <laughs> no, I just imagine him going, I don't like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Dolan, you magnificent bastard. Now, Terry Dolan is the one who graciously handles all the Facebook stuff. Yeah, he's a mod. Along with Christina Zerpoli. He's a, he is. He's the original mod. Quit, just, just, just three words. Three consecutive words out of my damn mouth. Can't do it. He is an admin in the Facebook Whiskey Tribe group. We like to call Go him. Go ahead. We like to call him the OG mod. <laughs> also a ginger. Also a ginger, which is why that popped into my head. <laughs> So this is Jameson Distillery Reserve. Wow. What this is, is uh, it's a 12-year-old, and they released a 12-year-old, but this is one that, in theory, you can only purchase at the Middleton or the Jameson Tour Experience. Yeah. So it's it's distillery-specific. Right on. Now, there's different batches of this one. It's 40%. But they're mixing together uh, several different styles of malt Irish whiskey and then the grain Irish whiskey. So this is a different animal than their standard Jameson line? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's still their same whiskey going into the right. Jameson line. Right. But it's a different blend just for this okay. release. And they still keep it at 40%. And a minimum 12 years. Okay. Yeah, and it's still 40. I almost got a vanilla coffee note See, on the nose. The nose was so was so basic for me that I dove right into it. You just moved taste. right on? I moved right on. But on No, I got like a coffee and... I, it, it's Irish on the nose, I'll say that. But on the taste, that buttery shortbread cookie that Jameson is very well known for. The smell is better than the taste. The taste, really? I, I like I like the taste. Mm -hmm. There's no sharpness. There's no brittle, shiny, aggressive, I really pokey like. notes. It's just friendly, approachable, and buttery. I like this quite a bit better than the regular Jameson. Oh yeah. Because I agree with that. The regular Jameson, I get this like this nice, this nice buttered shortbread cookie note. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit of nutmeg in there. And then it goes aluminum. Yes. It goes into an aluminum, like a metallic finish. This doesn't have that finish. Mm -mm. It doesn't. And those notes that are there leading up to the finish, they seem a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more present. Yeah, it's saturated. It stays that way. I mean, it starts that way, then stays that round and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I have the Jameson. That is like the, the, the quintessential easy sipper. Yeah. Irish like on on the whole, not every single Irish, but on the whole, Irish whiskey is going to be uh, a lot more friendly and approachable than some of your other whiskeys out there. Um, but this, at forty percent, it doesn't feel like it's thinned out and watery. You don't get like a weird um, soapy note, the saponification uh, that sometimes you'll get from large distilleries that are just cranking it out, and you don't get that metallic finish. It's just. Shortbread buttered cookie, a twinge of nutmeg, and there's one other thing. So this is the 12 that you will likely be able to get in the store. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to compare that. Is it vanilla? I think it's a twinge. Yeah, nutmeg. but it's like a Mexican vanilla. That slightly yeah, like, sweeter, more dense vanilla. Yeah, like the Mexican cream vanilla type of. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, man. Really? In the nose, this is sweeter. Is this the... Um, Regular? Yeah, the more accessible. In the taste, it's more brittle and bitey, peppery. You say sweeter on the nose? Sweeter on the nose, but more peppery on the taste. See, I'm getting more sweetness coming out of the distillery reserve. So maybe I would call it a different kind of sweetness. Yeah, it's definitely different on the nose. Yeah, but it's still, in, in my mind, it's translating to a, it's a different, it's, it's sweeter, it's denser sweet. Yeah, everything's. But a, the taste is a little more brittle. Taste is a little more brittle. Like it, most in the notes, most in the notes are still there. They're just there about seventy percent of the way, as this distiller's reserve. Yeah. Damn. All right. So I say this all the time. What this would be at cast strength? Oh, I know. It blow my c off. <laughs> Yours too. Like mine would just hit the wall and smash through the wall and then yours would plink against the window <laughs> and slide down the window. That's <laughs> funny when you said that all I heard was a tink, like someone throwing a, a pebble against the window. Just plink against the window. Plink. And then we have a shaped hole through the wall. 
<laughs> Blink. <laughs> I'm just hearing it, and that, that's funny. There's just there's no way around it. That's funny. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is Nettle C C zero, <clears throat> Nettle C zero. What is today's kung fu? What do, what do people mean with the kung fu on the Whiskey Tribe subreddit? I yes. I find it very confusing. I'm from Europe, and English is not my first language. I assume it's slang for something, but I fail to see the link between actual kung fu, the link between actual kung fu and buying whiskey. Could someone help me understand? Please. So this so, is happening more and more. Well, we're growing, guys. Yeah, the group is growing. We're, the group is growing, and for reference, there's about fifty uh, percent of the people that don't make it in because they don't meet some criteria mm -hmm. to make sure that they're actually familiarizing themselves with the, the goings on of the whiskey trip. Yeah, that being said, in the Reddit, in particular, it's like. Reddit, you can get the Reddit and not know some reference points. That's fine. If you decide not to watch the video. So there's a video we'll link up here that Chad needs to ask me for. I'll get him the link. And mm -hmm. basically, Daniel and I went and bought new whiskeys in one of the episodes on our other channel, the Whiskey Tribe channel. And it's like, Daniel, we need a ceremony for this this epic moment of bringing home new baby whiskeys. Yes. It's like, uh, what what should this moment be? Well, first we need to strap in the baby whiskeys. Yeah, so we, we seat, seat belt, belted it in. Seat belt in the whiskeys, and then what do you do after you seat belt in the whiskeys? You look for music, celebratory music. So we looked for the song, we hit shuffle, we left it yeah. up to the shuffle gods. The shuffle gods gave us Kung, Kung Fu, Fu fighting. fighting. So. So it's become slang in this group as Kung Fu is purchasing new whiskey. Right. And bringing it home safely. And in the States, there was a song that was very popular a long time ago. It was Everybody Was Kung Fu Fighting. Everybody, Everybody was, was Kung, Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> so there's your Kung Fu. Yeah, man, Jameson's just good. It's just yeah. an easy thing to point, especially beginners to. But even if you know your way around a whiskey and you're just looking to sit back and not have to think too much about it, it's just a good option. Can I tell you, I'm glad that there are people in the group who don't know what Kung Fu is, because what that means to me yeah. is that we've grown to the point where our crew is something people enjoy being a part of yeah. without having to be insiders. That means you guys are being really welcoming to yes. noobs. Yes. That is proof that you guys you are upholding the standards of being Magnificent Bastards. Magnificent Bastards. Yeah. Uh, because otherwise, somebody that new in right. a normal group would just get shit on. Yeah. And, you know, feel like an idiot. Yeah, and whoever shit on them would be immediately out of the group. In our group. In our group. Yeah. Group. And so you guys, that all this means to me is that if someone has felt welcomed right. and doesn't know what Kung Fu fighting is, it means that you guys really are Magnificent Bastards. <laughs> Uh, and so beyond that, so the group is growing, it's growing fairly quickly, even though we have put some um, speed bumps along the way to make sure that it's just not, oh, this is a really popular thing that everybody's doing, let's pile in. It's like, no, yeah. we want to maintain the culture and the identity and, and the, um, the personality and the things that makes the group fun, at the same time growing it at a healthy rate. We want to change the culture of whiskey. Yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact, I would be really happy if whatever Rex and I do with our lives, this group outlasts us. Yeah. There's another thing I wanted to say, but it's a long video. It is a long video. There's <laughs> to fighting, stealing. And stealing. <laughs> <laughs> if you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal, lovers are. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.